now we have the project on our machine and we want it back on GitHub in a new repository. So we're kind of just putting our template back up there because now we want to start working with it in a team. So I just, again, pull it down, remove any Git uh, relations and put it back on a new repository so I can start sharing it with my team. So I'm doing a new repository right here and I'm going to select my uh, company account and here I'm just going to put in a name and right now that name is already taken. So I'll just put in REST API instead like this. It accepts the repository and I'll just make it public and you don't need anything else because remember the ignore file already exists in the template project so I don't have to take care of that anymore. I'll create the repository and now all we have to do is pretty much get this repository down into the repository we already have locally. And instead of this time actually using the GitHub desktop client, I would like you guys or you can use instead the actual command prompt. So we're going to try and use the command prompt right here and we have to do something like this to actually make a commit into this GitHub repository right here. Now, if you don't already have Git installed, you have to go and grab it. You can just search Git, Windows or Mac, something like this, and you'll get a Windows Git right there. And here's actually a link for downloading it on, um, you'll notice here it actually start downloading right away. Now there's a very simple step-by-step uh, -step guide. So just skip, 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 and you're done. You have Git in your command prompt. So if you don't have it already, go and do that. So let me try and open this Git uh, inside the command prompt. We also have a git bash if we want to use that, but I actually just want to use the command prompt. So let me try and show you a cool way of getting into the right folder. I want to get into my work folder right here inside the command prompt, this guy. So I'll just mark everything by pressing all the way out here where it's white. Let me try and show you that again. Mark everything and write cmd, press enter, and now I'm inside the command prompt right there where I want to be. Now to check if git is working, you can do a git status and it should say something about this is not a git repository right now. So I know that I need some kind of git folder to actually call myself a git repository. That's kind of the problem here. So if I follow the guide here step by step, step one, do a git init. Now we can, the first line is actually creating a readme file. You can do it if you want to. We can actually do it. Let's just do it. I'll create a git readme file right here. It's a file that normally we use on, um, on GitHub to kind of promote what our project is all about. It's the first file you see when you enter GitHub. Instead of watching the code, you'll see some kind of welcome page. That's what this readme file will do for you. <clears throat> the next thing I'll do is a git init. So I'm jumping back to the command prompt. I'm just following these step by step. Now there's actually a .git repository available again. Let me try and show you what I mean. Now it's actually back. But this one is not set to anything. It's just a local repository right now. Again, if you want more, go and, go and check out the git tutorial I have as a series as well if you want to. The next thing I want to do is I want to explain everything that I want to add everything to the new git repository and do that by, we call it staging the application. And to add everything, you just do a dot. So now I'm doing a git add dot. Let's just do another git status just to show you Here's all the files that we're going to send to our new repository right here, all of these files. Sweet. So let's see what else we have to do. Git commit, first commit. So it's just a message. If you haven't done a git commit before, this is how you do it. And I could actually have done a git commit and for add all like this and then an M to add everything. So I'm just going to do that anyway and now I have my initial commit ready to be pushed. And if I do a git status again, you'll see we are actually ready to do the push. But to do that, the first time you're doing this, we have to tell the local repository where we're actually going to push this to a repository in the cloud on GitHub. So that's what this command does. Whoops, not that one. Let's just copy the right one. There we go. Copy this command right here, paste that in, and now we're explaining to Git we want to send this to this repository exactly inside the cloud. And the last thing I want to do is actually just push the actual guy right here. And the first time again, you have to tell it, master, that's where I'm going to push it. Origin, that's where I'm actually, sorry, Origin is where I'm going to push it. Master is where I'm actually at right now. So what I do here the first time is send this from local to the actual cloud. And then I, of course, need to log in the first time. And when I've logged in, it pops up here and shows me that it should actually now be on the right Git repository. And if it is, I refresh up here and you'll see the, the information about how to do it goes away. And now my Git repository is actually created. So I just created a new Git repository with an exact copy of what I had in the other one. There are other ways to do this, um, but I kind of want you guys to know that you can download the old template now, it's okay with me, and start working with that, or you can create your own template and download that and work with it. So keep expanding your template set so you can really work with solutions that are already ready to build. That's awesome. See you in the next lesson where we'll start uh, updating from version 1.1 to 2.0.